Hello everyone, today I'll be going over what I have recovered from the last few months I have spent researching about Death Rattles since my last video on it. Now if you don't know what Death Rattles is, you can watch my other video that I posted about the three mysteries, or you can just watch my timeline which will explain what happened. So in this video I will show you guys an interview I had with the preservationist, the timeline of Death Rattles, and my theories about it. Now let's get started with the timeline. Now I do want to preface this by saying the timeline might not be entirely accurate as this is what I've put together with information from the people that I've contacted in my quest to find out what Death Rattles was. So please take all this with a pinch of salt. Now to start off the timeline. Sometime in 1984, the Death Rattles TV show is created. In November 2005, the 4chan discussion board for Death Rattles is created. In July 2006, it's moved to IRC. Although I don't know when, this IRC chat room would later go on to be disbanded. In spring 2010, the preservationists would buy the VHS tape. Throughout 2012, all 4chaners, approximately 35, involved in the Death Rattles board would remove their posts and never access the website again. In around June 2014, the preservationist would remove all of his accounts and posts from the entire internet. Now I would like to say, if you guys do not know what the VHS tape was, that VHS tape had a recording, an audio recording, of Death Rattles. It was approximated to be somewhere between 4 and 8 minutes long. Now that you're all caught up with the Death Rattles timeline, I would like to show you the interview that I had with the preservationist. Now, just so you know, this is cut up sections from a much longer interview that I had. All removed parts did not relate to Death Rattles. And I understand that the voice changer may make the preservationist hard to hear. However, he asked me to put on a very uh, strong voice changer so no one could recognize him. I will put subtitles for those who cannot understand him. Thank you. All right, we are recording. Nice to meet you, what's your name and occupation? Is it true that you purchased the tape of Death Rattles? Okay, um, who did you buy it from? Why did you want the tape? What do you mean guilty? What did you feel guilty about? Okay, back to the form. Do you still have contact with anyone who is in it? Alright, that was the interview. Uh, I did warn you guys, the audio voice changer was pretty drastic, but he said that it was imperative to ensure that he was not found. So, not sure if he had people in real life who he was afraid might recognize him, however, I just had to do the voice changer as well as I could. Now we'll be going into the theories. The three main theories that we currently have are the most eligible to be true, as the other ones do not have as much proof as the three main ones, however, I will be going through all theories that we currently have. Our first theory is that something illegal happened during the filming of Death Rattles, and that someone involved in it is trying to cover it up as much as possible. This would explain why people like the Preservationist and the 4 Channers deleted their posts. However, there is a law called the Statute of Limitations. This law prevents any illegal activity that happened more than 15 years ago from being punished. Although this is absolute in America, in places like the UK, where we believe the Preservationist is from, and Italy, the reason for mentioning Italy will be brought up later, the statute of limitations is not absolute, and there are certain cases where it just does not apply. 
However, the reason this is being brought up in the first place is because Death Rattles was filmed over 30 years ago. Any crime committed in it, if it was in the US, would have been absolved long ago. So, considering everything, I'd say that the possibility of this being true is somewhat likely. Our second theory is that a government organization or some agency is trying to keep death rattles under wraps. Depending on what organization you believe is covering it up, there's a wide variety of reasons for the cover-up. This ranges all the way from an ongoing investigation to a use for money laundering. This theory was brought up a lot, and we ultimately came to the conclusion that while it was possible, it mostly had no founding. In the end, I say the possibility is improbable. Our third and last big theory is that Death Rattles is fake. This theory says that the show simply never existed. I know it may be a hard pill to swallow, however, we had to consider everything. Although based off of everything we have seen up until now, this would have been a very elaborate cover-up lie that was woven around the fact that someone would find it, so I'd say this theory is very unlikely. Those were our main three, however, I do have three other ones that, although they would be interesting, we basically do not believe that they have enough founding to say it's true. So, let's go through them. The Death Rattles Board was a communication for an Italian organization trying to catch the preservationist. Now this is supported by the fact that Fortran told me that he thought most of the people on the board were from Italy, however this was just his thoughts, there was no screenshots or proof of this. Death Rattles is planning a comeback and they are trying to hide the old show because of how bad they believed it was. And finally, the MI6 are trying to get the VHS tape of Death Rattles for an investigation. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching. I spent a lot of time making this video, as you can tell, because of the five month gap between my last video about these unsolved mysteries. However, I had a lot of fun making this video, and I would like to make a video on possibly another one of those theories, unless something else big comes in this Death Rattles case. So. If you guys want me to see investigating that book, The Discipline of Psychic Warrior, that was shown in the first video, please tell me in the comments. Or if you have any personal theories about Death Rattles, what you think might happen for all this to result, then please leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, and I might do a video, and it might actually cover your theories, so I will definitely give you credit for it, so please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And yeah, that's it. See you next time.